Directed by Sandeep Reddy Vanga, Animal starring Ranbir Kapoor, Anil Kapoor, Bobby Deol and Rashmika Mandana in the lead roles is finally released on the big screen. As the Revenge drama finally releases, we thought this would be the perfect time to discuss whether Sandeep Reddy Vanga is planning a universe around Animal or not. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the movie. But if you are done watching it already, let's dive straight into the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on to how the film ended. By the end of the film, we learn that Abrar Hug planted a mole in Ranvijay's life. The girl said her name was Zoya and her fiancé's heart was now beating inside Ranvijay's body. Ranvijay had a heart transplant surgery and he was more than happy to welcome Zoya to his grandfather's place. Ranvijay already knew she was the mole but didn't tell her until the last moment. Zoya fell in love with Ranvijay and when he deceived her by bombing his own car, she spilled the beans. Zoya thought it was Abrar who had orchestrated the bomb blast and she told him everything she knew about the Hug brothers. She knew that the younger Hug brother was going through a plastic surgery process to look exactly like Ranvijay. He was supposed to infiltrate the house and kill Balbir when the actual Ranvijay would be busy with Zoya. After learning the plan, he lets her go and asks his grandfather and father for the entire truth. Abrar is a vicious man who has two wives and is marrying another one without knowing that Asrar is dead. When he learns that Asrar is dead, he straight out kills one of his henchmen and goes straight to have violent sex with his wives like an animal. Meanwhile, Ranvijay confesses to his wife about sleeping with another woman and she reprimands him for his action for which they have a physical confrontation which was bound to happen at some point. Later, Ranvijay flew to the United Kingdom to face his arch nemesis. He was going after the life of his cousin and he knew that he probably wasn't doing the right thing. But this was war and Ranvijay was fully aware of what would happen if he didn't deal with it. Ranvijay's grandfather and father advised him to forgive Abrar as they shared the same blood, but he did not agree. Ranvijay's theory was very clear. He said he wouldn't kill anyone if they guaranteed they wouldn't come after him or his family. Ranvijay tells everyone that they are all alive because of his violence and resources. He infiltrates Abrar's home and threatens even the women of the house. After learning their location, Ranvijay reached there and Abrar and Ranvijay fought for hours on the runway in the final confrontation of Animal. When Abrar was about to lose the battle, Ranvijay stopped him again and asked him to promise not to go after his family to save his life. But the arrogant man did not agree and performed the same gesture that Ranvijay showed at the beginning of the film when he was talking about the monkey's story. Ranvijay killed him on the spot, slicing his throat in front of everyone. Also, this scene in the action sequence probably tries to convey the message that these two characters are two sides of the same coin. Two animals fighting it out to determine who is the alpha chat. Ranvijay came back home soaked in Abra's blood to show his father what he had done for him. On Diwali night, Balbi Singh told his son that he had lymphoma and decided to embrace death. When Ranvijay tried to console him, he lashed out at his son again. But after Ranvijay played out a scene in front of him from his childhood, the toxic father accepted the fact that he was not a great father, apologized to him and asked him to forgive him. Ranvijay cried like a baby that day as it was a cathartic moment for him for which he had waited for his entire life. His father understood him and maybe it was a bit too late as Balvi Singh was suffering from a terminal illness and he didn't have a lot of time but still it felt like someone had lifted a huge burden from Ranvijay's shoulders. In the end, Gitanjali tried to leave him as she should have way back, but for their son, his father is still a superhero and as he embraces the animal, the kid inside him finally gets a taste of what retribution feels like despite losing his senses. In the post credit scene, we learn that Animal 2 is definitely on the cards as we saw that a younger brother of Abras had undergone cosmetic surgery to look absolutely identical to Ranvijay. We know Zoya is pregnant and Abras' younger brother wonders if the baby is his or Ranvijay's. This brother was nothing but a predator and the fact that he slayed Manjot and the other man like a butcher made his intentions clear. He will come to Ranvijay's life in the coming days and it will be interesting to know if Ranvijay can protect his family or if this doppelganger will replace him in his own life. In the end, we see the older Ranvijay who might also be the youngest thug brother recreating the abusive gesture which is again put in the film to trigger the critics of Mr. SRV. Even before the release, social media was a buzz about the second part of the film. Interestingly, the post credit scene clearly hints at the possibility of a sequel. Animal Bark is the title of the sequel to this film. 
The cloning and cosmetic surgery factor will create unexpected twists and turns not only increasing complexity but also the risk of our shady protagonist and his family. Overall, this scene hypes us up for a compelling sequel that fans will want to see. As mentioned above, Ranbir Kapoor who plays his own antagonist adds an unexpected twist to the plot. This strategic decision aims to build on the success of the current film and promises a new and exciting dynamic for the audiences. Also, the title of Part 2 Animal Park refers to the world of the film as an extended universe. Let's name it VAP or Vanga Animal Planet. In the second part, we will definitely see some misunderstanding regarding Ranvijay's true identity. Chances are the film will follow the same bits as Isarki's fan. Gitanjali will probably be unable to recognize her husband and for that the titular animal will torture her immensely. My guess is Ranvijay will lose one of his sisters in the confrontation and will be arrested for the crimes committed by the youngest thug brother. But after understanding that they made a mistake, the law enforcement would let him go and he would reign carnage over the professional butcher and his family. It will be a Logan-like scenario where the animal will face his mortal enemy that is himself quite literally. Additionally, Vanga's next project with rebel star Prabhas named Spirit hints at this possibility as well. A few days ago, Ranbir expressed his feelings about working in the film even in a smaller and less significant role. Though the possibility seems thin for Spirit to exist in the same universe as Animal, it will be a huge deal if the director makes an entire universe around the violent characters, giving them different attributes of respective animals that they represent. As of Spirit, the film might create an entire universe of its own around a cop with grey models. But to know more about it, we will have to wait for a significant time. The current discussion on the film are extremely divisive and I genuinely have no clue how I felt about the movie. While Ranbi's performance impressed me, the character had absolutely no redeeming quality. The writing is batshit crazy, suppressed emotions have the power to turn people into beasts. It's a completely different realm where you can see nothing, feel nothing, fear nothing and start treacherously walking like you have nothing to lose. We want to make it clear that the film might be offensive to many people. There is a dangerous degree of toxicity in Vanga's world but he clearly shows it for what it is and will not compromise on any aspect. Sandeep Reddy Vanga has gone out of his way to validate all the negativity, violence, toxicity and patriarchy and boldly asserts his stubborn stance, the typical fear seen in his characters and the authenticity he brings to every aspect. After watching the movie, it's up to you whether you want to criticize the creators or applaud the efforts of the entire team. But what is undeniable is that this director knows what he is doing. But for me, it felt like a gimmick. Instead of challenging the audience, Vanga was more focused on offending the critics and wanted to cash in on the success of Kabi Singh. I guess through Ranvijay and Balbi's character, he tried to establish that the relationship between a filmmaker and a critic is like a father-son dynamic. Like Barbie, the critics never showed him where he was feeling as a filmmaker but decided to reprimand him and hit him violently at his inception point with their trash talks. Like Balbi, they never tried to learn his side of the story for which he became this animal of a director who is unpredictable with his craft. He attributed the characters to their rawest instinct which justifies the title. It is definitely a challenging watch. I would have considered it a good film if he decided to take us through Ranvijay's mind space but Vanga decided to invest more time in glorifying his masochism which fails to serve the purpose. Like the animal, he loses his touch with the world where he is setting the story in the second half. I liked how the first half was building up but the final fight sequence failed to impress us. The face swapping plot felt out of place and juvenile in this context. We get how he wanted to set Ranveer as his own biggest enemy but unlike the film Logan, the motive behind it was lackluster. Anurag Kashyap tried to do something similar with his film No Smoking where he criticized the censor board but unlike him, Vanga failed to deliver the perverted message. Kabir Singh was a far superior film than this which was based on reality and I liked the entirety of it except the redemption arc. Animal was meant to test us which it successfully did but Vanga in his quest to challenge and push the boundary forgot to make a good film out of it. However, you cannot deny the impact this film will have on modern day pop culture. With so much unoriginal work being put on screen, Animal is true to its core, unapologetic and achieves what the maker envisioned to get. It blurs the line how we are supposed to see our heroes on the big screen. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Animal. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off. Achha chalta hoon, main ghost se ladta nahi, unhe kha jata hoon and I'll be back.